Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at the 1, 4, and 5 chord um, of each and every key. I'm going to show you three patterns that you can move around to transpose the key. We're going to fill those chords in into a 12 bar blues form and use a really simple and fun um, finger style technique to get this going as kind of a self-sustained uh, blues rhythmic pattern. You have a nice little bass note in between all of the uh, playing of the chords. So this is gonna this is gonna sound really cool once you tighten it up, and we're gonna get something sounding like this. Now, let's go through the one, four, and five chords. I'm gonna show you how to how to locate those. Then I'm gonna run you through the right hand patterns and how to play through these chords so that you get the 12 bar blues form properly and you also have a really cool rhythmic bass line in there and the harmony. So let's start with the chords. First off, the one chord. We're gonna have our root there on the low E and then we're gonna fill in our seven chord above it. Now, you'll see the, the fingerings up here for our G7 and knowing that this note on the low E is my root, that's a G, therefore G7. Now, if you were to move it up to A, that would be A7, and then B would be B7. So this is a movable chord shape based off of what the root is. Now, if you need to know the names of the notes on the fretboard, musicandguitarlessons.com is a great place to start. Next, let's take a look at the four. So you're gonna be using the A string as your root here and you'll see the rest of the fingering above my hand there. Um, this also is a movable pattern. So if we get one, four, well, if I move that pattern up here to B, this would be blues and B. One, four, right, or blues and C. Now let's talk about the five. The five here, um, what you do is if I have the one chord pattern, I'm gonna lift everything up except my third finger. I'm gonna place my second finger, a fret behind it, string higher, pinky, and index. And you'll see the, the fingering, of course, above my hand. Um, this, we only want the middle notes. That will be our five. So we get one, four, and then our five. Um, now let's talk about the 12 bar form and then the right hand so that we can fill that form up with some nice rhythm. So 12 bar form, we're gonna get four bars, of, four bars rather of one, two bars of four, two bars of one, a bar of five, a bar of four, and two more bars of one. Um, and the way that we're gonna keep uh, rhythm here is we're gonna go thumb, two, three, four, Thumb, fingers, thumb, fingers. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Um, now, when you're doing this on the one chord, we're going to be playing the thumb on the E and A strings here. E and A. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. 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 Um, that gives us our four measures. Of course, that nice little bass line. And then we're going to switch to our four chord. And the thumb's going to play between the A and D strings. And these three fingers are going to go up to the G, B, and E, whereas before they were on the D, G, and B. So we're going to move these up to these. these and now we're going to. So we get two measures of that. And then back to two measures of the one. Then one measure of the five. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna play our thumb between the A and D, and we're only gonna use our index and middle for the G and B. So, and then back to the four. And I'm using the same pattern on that one. So. I wanted to play this in the key of A. Well, since this is my root for the entire pattern, I'd move the root up to A here. 
and then There you go. You can take this to any pattern, any key. You know, this is something, we're gonna play blues and B flat. Okay, well I found B flat now. And you're gonna keep moving through it. So when you're at your next jam session, and it's up to you to play rhythm. And granted, you're a new guitarist. This is a very simple blues lesson. You know exactly where to start and how to count the form. Now, if you have any questions, those are totally, just put them down in the comments and I will answer. Also, don't forget to check out musicandguitarlessons.com, something that as I am releasing this video, I'm still building the, the, the total site itself, um, but what you can find there is musical brain training as well as some courses that I'm designing, um, blues, we're going to do some shredding courses, and of course classical guitar courses are coming up because that's my formal training. If you have any requests, um, put them below in the comments as well. And don't forget to subscribe or check out my next video. Happy practice! Definitely do not forget to subscribe and like this video.